Well, it's good to have you back. And uh, just to let you know that, that uh, we're actually on to the next uh, um, discussion program where we'll be talking about a lot of uh, issues uh, confronting the state. And I know that there's no doubt that the present state and number um, government is tackling a whole lot of issues and challenges that has confronted the state in the past and of course trying to prefer solutions to this issue and uh, we'll be talking about ban on closure of roads in Orca South. Well if you agree with me that uh, most times when it comes to festive periods like this uh, people actually come out with some you know programs some parties ceremonies that actually attract you know the blockage of different roads in the states of various places in the country and on that note we're talking about ban on closure of roads in Orca South and we have a guest in the house who's going to be helping us in that chief Liu Umwaba Transition Committee Chairman Orca South local government area good morning and good welcome morning. to the show good morning Major. welcome thank you all right uh, uh, there is no doubt like I said earlier on that this present administration is doing everything within its power to restore normalcy and the state as regards to what has been happening over the years you know as regards to ban on closure of roads in orca you know when it comes to ceremony now blocking of road during events how sensible is it can it be justified in any way well first of all let me see this opportunity to greet my good people of orca South local government and the entire Anambrarians uh for this festive period i want to say merry christmas in advance to all of you and those of you here in abs thank you we are doing a good work thank you yes uh, the ban on uh, road closure you know when anything becomes indiscriminate or rather getting out of hand it begins to cause discomfort mm. So, and uh, you know, the His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Anambra State, Chief Dr. Willie Obiano, has provided a safe ground for all of us in Anambra State. Before now, we don't have uh, the kind of peace we enjoy here in Anambra State. In fact, the previous administration uh, didn't have it right as far as it concerned the issue of security. Okay. I know security, when we are able to provide security, it comes with a lot of things. Now there is nightlife. Now that we are approaching Christmas period, a lot of uh, people, we are expecting them to come home, unlike it used to be. And you know, the issue of security, lack of security at a point, started affecting our culture. Because our, our parents now, the fathers now give their daughters out in marriage at wherever, from wherever they reside, even in London, they call people to do celebrations. So as you know, if such a situation were allowed to continue, we would have had a cultural disaster and that would be very, very unpalatable for the state, mm -hmm. for the Igbo nation. So I thank God for uh, giving us uh, Apokwedika glory who have restored security to the state. And you know, people now we have a lot of ceremonies. It's, it, it doesn't used to be like that before. Our people don't come home. Our people don't even uh, try to do any, have anything to do with their home. They end, start and finish in their various locations. So today, a lot of activities are beginning to take place. So now that we are approaching the Yuletide period, or rather in the Yuletide period, we expect a lot of our people to come home and then meet with their loved ones. Loved ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this kind of situation, I know our Kansas local government provides a gateway to the, a lot of uh, communities in Anambra State. And I see my people, each time I tell them, this is the local government that we are the state governor resides. We are the wife of the state governor resides. We are a lot of important personalities of Anambra State, the chief judge. Even the national chairman of Agri Party is from Oka. It's from an, uh, Oka local government. He resides here also. 
So it's a situation whereby this kind of uh, important dignitaries wants to attend mm -hmm. an emergency function or the other when they want to pass only to meet a blocked road, mm -hmm. completely blocked road. You see, there was a day uh, High Excellency wants to commission a program in my area. So I wanted to go and see beforehand to make sure that uh, everything, was in place. everything was in place, only to discover that the road which she's supposed to pass through was completely blocked. So I came down and started on blocking the road. In fact, the only thing I could get that day is to give them a half road closure because they closed it completely. Was it people doing ceremonies? Yeah. Or was it um, just... Just a burial ceremony. They okay. were having burial ceremony during the occasion. Okay. Uh -huh. So I, I keep telling them, Okasa local government is not just any other local government. Uh, the workforce of the state has its thick presence here in, Anambra, in Okasa local government. So the culture of indiscriminate closure of fruit does us no good. Mohan. Okay, so presently now we're talking about ban on closure of roads in Orca. Now, the ban has taken effect. Yes. As regards to, so is there, um, are there times where people can probably get permission for whatever ceremonies or program they want to do that could enable them maybe block a part of the road? No, no, let, let, let me highlight the ban here. It necessarily for this period. It's not as if we, can, we grant permission for closure of road. You have to apply if you want to close the road. They, my uh, uh, works department will come and inspect the road and uh, create, if there is no alternative route, then we cannot grant the permission. All right, you used but, to grant the permission before now yes. for people, so people can close the road after yes. inspection. Yes. But what about people that didn't come for the, uh, for, the, for the permission, to take the permission from you, and at the end of the day, they block the road? Do you do anything to them? Do Those are the people we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Those people who take law into their hands. We don't permit that, that anymore. If you want to close road, you have to apply to the office of the chairman of Casa local government. Or in whichever local government. It is, the so law when, still when that happens, what do you people do? Probably, like she said, the people who take laws into their hands. Yeah. Like yes, we normally prosecute them. We take them to court, to revenue court. We, we normally give them demand notice because the, such uh, uh, disobedience attracts some fine mm -hmm. legally. So if they disobey the law and uh, take the law into their hand to close the road, we will... Um, uh, uh, invite them or issue them with the demand notice, demanding the, 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 the penalty they are supposed to pay for flattening the law. All right, for this period, uh, like, is it just this yield period that the, the total ban? The, more, the, the ban takes more effect, more enforceable now, because we want a, 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 a heat free Christmas period. You can see the, the governor is planning for everybody to have a good uh, merry-making event. And, uh, and you know, with the, with the security that has been provided in Anambra State, you see a lot of uh, event centers are springing up. It's not, it doesn't used to be like that before. So if you want to hold a function, you uh, go and patronize those event centers. You go okay. to a, a, a public place if you don't have money to, to, for the event, for the event centers. centers. You can stay in a public place. For this period, uh, it, is, it will be very difficult for me to grant anybody permission to close road mm -hmm. because we must have to come and inspect and make sure that there is an improviso for Improves. people in order to make sure that people are not discomforted because you want to get, have your own comfort. If you, want, if you, if you are okay. looking for your comfort, you think of the comfort of other citizens oh, who equally needs that comfort. All right, and I, I, I know as the transition chairman of Orca South, you cannot be everywhere at the same time. Now, there are a whole lot of people, like you said, that even after this ban and the warnings still take laws into their hands. All right, let's take this call. Hello, good morning. Hello? All right, I know there are some other people who, even after these laws and the ban, will still take laws into their hands. In such cases, because when you tend to block the roads, you disturb other road users. And we know that this road is nobody's own. Yes, we understand that, okay, whether the federal government or the state government, but we know it's a road for everybody. Yes. In such cases, 
who do I call? How do I get to, you know, complain to the, the, the body who is, you know, responsible for when I get to see a road who is, that is blocked, probably, and disrupting people's movement? Yes. We, are, we have the congestion, the congestion unit in Okasa local government that we are charged with uh, issues like this. So, uh, and uh, the person who is the head is the, uh, the, the head of works department of the local government. So, if you get across to people like that, they will attend to you. So, uh, okay. it, 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 is there a number? Any because number? the whole lot of people are really watching now, and yeah. of course, the, and then again, I want to ask this, Ban. Okay, I think we have a call on. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. All right, then again, I want to ask this, Ban, is it just for Orca South or generally in Anambra State when it comes to... No, closure? my jurisdiction covers only Orca South. Orca South, okay. Okay, 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 so, so, to, okay so good. Yeah. Um, numbers, in case people... Or is there an office where people can come? Yes, come numbers. to the office of the local government, uh, the acts of the engineer works department. Well, I don't think that... When I'm a on transit... I, I, I need to call the number for you people to come. Probably when someone I, to come and see. Maybe I'm there already. I can't even move away from the scene. And so I need to like call. Please, the congestion team should come to such a place. Yeah. And um, tell these people to move whatever they're doing okay. out of the road. Let me give you one of the numbers you will call. 080. Okay. 330. Okay. 38. Okay. 208. Two zero eight. All right. Um, the, the numbers to call in case you get yourself, you know, into one of um, this roadblocks, um, having ceremonies. It could be birthday. It could be burial ceremonies. It could be wedding. It could be whatever. And uh, you actually get yourself, you know, stuck. You can always call the number zero eight zero three three zero three eight two zero eight. Well, that's the number you can call when you actually have issues like Let's take this call before we move. Hello, Hello good, good morning. morning. Good morning. All right, it's Tim All right, um, the man. Okay. Prosecuting these people. Now, um, away, let, 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 let me move away a bit from a number of states. When we talk about ban of closure of rules, it is something that happens in Nigeria generally. Recently, um, early this year, something happened in Bayosa State where there was a picture posted on, on net where the Muslims blocked the road while they were praying. And a lot of people started, you know, reactions, comments, and, you know, the likes. In such cases, what would you say or what, what would your, you know, ministry do as regards to such cases? the Muslim or even the Christians, sometimes the Christians also organize crusades that blocks the road. All right, what would you do in such here. incident? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. We can hear you. Your name, please. Uh oh, all right. Network is really not friendly this morning. So, sir. What would you do in such situation? Yes, yeah, that is what we talk about. This is flagrant abuse of rights and privileges. And when you abuse these privileges without considering the views and the aspirations, ideas, and the ideologies of uh, your fellow citizens, that is where it becomes so bad. Hello? Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Your name and your location, please. I'm, I'm calling from North here. What is your name? My name is Koiso. So, Koiso, what do you have to say? What I have to say. All right. Um, you were saying something about yes. uh, abuse of abuse rights. Abuse of rights. Mm -hmm. When you consider yourself, you want to call the function for you and few people. You don't want to consider the views and the interests of the entire populace, which far outnumbers the number of people you, are, you, you want to close the road for. 
that is where it becomes so bad. Right. And such, uh, such a situation needs to be addressed legally. Mm -hmm. Because what you used to do is to take them to the court. And the court doesn't waste time to uh, prosecute such people. You see, because this is issue that borders on human rights. And when you prosecute such people, did you just let them go? Because people keep doing it over and so over is, again. Is it, is, it, is it when you, you prosecute know? them, there's a fine to pay? Or they pay, pay, or they, they pay a fine or uh, option of uh, 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 jail. It's either they pay a fine or they will be jailed. Jail. So in the case of um, a, 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 someone actually blocked the road for a ceremony and they did not come to you know, the normal application and permission, if you get the information and go there and find out it is true, do you guys halt the event or what, what happens? No, that will create a lot of confusion because my, uh, uh, my workers used to uh, uh, confront them. No, I said, no, you don't need to confront them. Just get me a picture as an evidence that these people blocked the road. Okay. And so, so, and so, and so, so, and so period. That is all we need. Okay. The next day, we will serve them a notice. Okay. I need to go back to where you said that you, you can give permission before now, that you used to give permission to people. Even now, they, I can. Okay, I can. give permission. But then you mentioned that we have a lot of event centers and public places where we can use. So why wouldn't this ban be as in, let it last, let it be static that... If you want to do an event and you don't have that kind of a, a space you, you, you need in your compound, go to an event center. There's no need of people coming to take permission since we have event centers and public places like no, this. No, because not everybody can afford the event centers. Okay. You know, and not just that, the, the ban we are talking about uh, covers only a, a particular uh, uh, place. If we have a place where there can be an uh, alternative route, that if you close the road, you cannot create hardship and suffering so much for the people. That is where we can come in to give you permission to close the road, to use the public road. Because this is public road, not personal again. Any, any road. Meeting called road is for public. Now, let, let, let me move away because it, it, it's a broad topic, but in as much as um, it looks as if we're talking about Oka South, you know, of which you are the transition chairman, let's look at it generally in Nigeria. There are times, uh, most times, when different political parties want to hold their convention, want to, you know, start their campaign or whatever, they block road. Now, a lot of people who uh, trying to survive who do business you know try to fend for their family and try to make ends meet find it difficult during this process you know political parties are actually doing convention or because earlier um this year i think when the president actually came to lagos for two days lagos generally you know was temporarily shut down is is this is this right That's now Mm. Uh, you know, I want to know, is this right? Because at the end of the day, yes, we know the presidency is coming out and the spokesman came out and said that why they are blocking the road is to enable people come out to welcome the presidency. I have no issues with that. But I'm still talking about uh, a widow who needs to go out to fend for the family. Uh, someone who cannot afford anything to fend for the family. It's been halted because the road is blocked. Well, when you... When such issues, uh, when such national issues comes up like this, uh, you see, we have to view it uh, critically and holistically. You know, if the president, commander in chief of the country, yeah. wants to close down the whole nation, it is not for me to say it is wrong or it is right because he is more experienced in this field than myself. Okay. You see. So if you consider it, he, 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 he administers the fate of millions of Nigerians. So if for one day he decides uh, that uh, the entire of his subjects will be indoors for one day, two days, well, I think, same with the political parties, you see. So those are issues that border us on national. All right, now, you give permission to people if they want to close throat. Do you now, do you give notice to people, okay, this road will be closed for today. 
please use an alternative route or when they come we, there we we'll usually provide sign okay we we'll usually provide sign because even if you give notice people will, may still forget until they get to the place so what we used to do is to put uh, maybe three four meters before the the rent place and they provide a sign all right um time is really our friend that uh, will be leaving now but before you go or before we go we um i want to ask mm -hmm. you what uh, your advice to of course this is the yuletide season a lot of celebrations we know that a lot of people love getting married at this time of the year when it's around the 26 27 28 29 you know to the 31st what's your advice to people who are probably intending to block road yeah, this new tight season yes anybody that flaws the order will uh, be stubbornly dealt with because we have uh, made a public announcement to this effect i've already advised that they should use public places most of our primary schools are empty mm -hmm. and most of the uh, event centers which the governor attracted are there to develop the state. And they're not that expensive too. And they're not all that expensive. Mm -hmm. So I encourage them to use these places. We have a lot of them now in Oka. You see, they even make your event to be more colorful. So if you cannot afford event center, you can afford the primary school field, you can afford a public place. Please don't encroach on the people's uh, privilege and right. That is my Lead. humble submission well you've had it from the transition committee chairman orca south local government area as you get the ban on closure of roads in orca south that you should not disturb the peace of other people who are also trying to use the road and of course we want to say a very very big thank you to chief liu Ungube, the transition committee chairman orca south local government area many thanks for joining us and of course uh enlightening the viewers out there many thank, thanks thank you very much thank all you right. so much for being with us today <laughs> all right um this is it don't go anywhere we will be right back because we also have something interesting to talk to you about don't go anywhere we'll be back <laughs>